All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this installment, we're just making more pattern pieces and kind of finishing out fabricating most of the elements that are going to go into this knife billet. Here I am cutting some plain 1080 bar to length to make a, uh, a single bar of 1080 for end caps for the billet to kind of trap everything together and give it a solid, a solid, um, a cap to both ends and that'll make it easier to forge the tang in down without wasting some of this precious mosaic we've worked so hard on. Once again I've set a stop on the chop saw so all these pieces come to the same length. It doesn't have to be that big of a billet. Got to deburr, get everything cleaned up. Of course, I've uh, got to weld the ends up, bust out the old 300 amp MIG Airco, get a nice fat bead down each corner, and then you got to get a good weld on your handle or your handle will fall off, which you'll know if you've ever done this kind of work before. Hammer time. Running the bowdry never gets old. On this day I decided to really up my game and wear camo from head to toe nearly and an olive drab hat. Makes your knives extra extra good if you do that. Pretty quick and easy to get a forge weld and drawn out on this. I think it took me like two heats and I probably could have done it in one. But uh, slow and steady wins the race sometimes. Didn't need to get it too thin and then have it not match the stack. As an aside, you can see the other power hammer, the utility hammer in the background there, and I'm currently also working on getting it installed, so do check for videos on that project as well. Got that piece down to size and all flattened out smooth and now we're ready to cool it down take it over to the surface grinder. Just barely peel the scale off and uh, I, I annealed it with some subcritical cycles and so it should be pretty easy after this to bandsaw to size and the shape that I want for my billet end caps. A little more offhand grinding here just to kind of clean up the edges, get the scale off, square everything up. So with that bar pretty well cleaned up, of course breaking out the good old blue die cam. Give it a nice coat of that. Helps your markings show up. I'll wait for that to dry a little bit. This step was a little confounding just to figure out exactly how I wanted to get my angles laid out on the bar. Not too bad, 
but there was just a lot of kind of finicky little fitting, grinding little bits off of pieces, putting them back in that I did off camera because it would have just been horrendously tedious to show all that. But here I am trying to figure out a method um, for accurately kind of finding a center line of that angle because it is not symmetrical. And then uh, actually making an angle guide out of a couple of pieces of stock here in a minute. You'll see that. So you're going to have fun watching me kind of fumble with how I wanted to get this laid out. But right here I just got the width and I'm scribing a line for a, a horizontal bandsaw cut there. I don't know if you can see it here, but you will at the end that I etched the faces of all of those edge chunks so that I could make sure they were all mirrored to each other and laid out right. So there, I've got both my bandsaw cuts scribed on. There's just a short little piece of waste block. Right now I have taken a couple of pieces of 15 and 20, you can see, and created an angle template based on the end of the um, composite billet that you could see there. Using that to scribe a line onto there at the center line I found, etc. And I actually ended up doing it a slightly different way but uh, off camera just because my battery died and things like that. Here I'm um, cutting uh, the top edge bar. This is out of some bold ladder edge Damascus I made for another project and uh, and for this project as well so I'm just ripping off a strip of that and that's going to contain all the tops of the little the little triangular pieces and whatnot from falling out of the billet on that side but it'll ultimately be a part of the knife composition as well kind of add a little decorative um, top wave to it Getting the edges ground nice and clean and straight and uh, down to the width of the rest of the billet. And here I'm just sawing the two end cap blocks and that little bit right there is just the remainder little waste block of 1080. That'll go into the random bits pile and probably be scrap metal at some point. Now here I have scribed, you can see my various attempts at scribing the line how I wanted and I finally found one that'll work so just uh, going for it by hand and with a push stick and cutting through it, it ain't that bad. And here I'm just finishing the cut on the second block for the second end cap I believe. Now I gotta grind everything real close to the line and finish up with a 120 belt and get that inside corner nice and sharp so it just sucks right tight to the end of the billet. So I got the second one finished up there and now let's have a look at what the billet looked like at the end of this. That's all of the pieces, pretty much. Top edge bar, edge chunks, end caps. Now I'm just going to build a can around it in the next video and we'll get it into the fire. Thanks for watching.